video. Um, I'm gonna talk about my Yoshu. Before I talk about my Yoshu, however, the understanding of Shinto is critical. In Shinto religion, anything that remarkable or extraordinary in the nature is associated with God. Uh, for example, the blue sky or river, wind, plants, trees, even insects, all of them have a God. Shinto can also be called Kami no Michi, the way of the God, and it is based on animism, a belief that all things in the universe has a soul, and Japanese, either Shinto or not, all adores and respect the beauty of the nature. Mayoshu is a collection of the poem from Nara period, originated from Arist aristocracy. Uh, earliest one is dated as 760 AD. They are love, theology, and other miscellaneous topics written in short poem styles. A preference for short poem styles are evident in Mayoshu. In modern time, lots of Japanese poems are written in its short, short poem styles, such as known for waka, tanka, is consisting with 31 syllables, and haiku, which consists with 17 syllables. Because of these short poem styles, uh, many poets incorporate double meanings, utilizing nature through similes and metaphors to add on what the poem means. From the textbook, Prince Nakada's poem read, While waiting for you, my heart is filled with longing. The autumn wind blow as if it were you, swaying the bamboo blinds of my door. In this poem, autumn wind can be interpreted as the end of the relationship, as the autumn wind causes leaves to fall, thus she won't be back. This double meaning way of writing poem may be a result of preference to short style poem and Shinto religion. In this way, Mayoshu demonstrates Japanese people's preference to live closer to the nature and then to live as part of it while they reflecting their life with natural phenomena. Consequently, Mayoshu lacks to a better understanding of the values of Japanese people toward to the gods in the nature and how they co-live with the nature in the past and continue to today. Thank you.